Hey, what up guys? In this one, I'm playing Pacific Grove Golf Links. It's been a while since I made a video here. I love this golf course. This is famously known as the Poor Man's Pillow Beach. However, it has gotten a little bit more pricey, I will admit, but let's head out to the course, see how I did. So you start the day off with back-to-back -back par threes. And honestly, if it's a little bit cold and you haven't warmed up, they can be kind of intimidating. I hit the front of the green, but this one rolls out. It's down, down, no! So now we have a pretty decent length putt here. Ah, oh, stay up. And this one ends up rolling out pretty good. Wow, that broke a lot. Still not good. Whoa, sit. And unfortunately, stay up. Oh. We start the day off with three putt bogey. Nice three putt in the morning, eh? Not even gonna go for that flag. I'm just gonna go for the center of the green. Coming up here, a 200 yard par three. Take out the mini driver because it's so forgiving. And this one just ends up being on the fringe to the right. That works. All right, we're gonna bump and run it. It's going right to left. I don't have to give this much. It's kind of breaking down in a way. Bump and run, gang. Where you at? This way ends up trickling down close to the hole, and we hit a tidy one here to get an easy up and down. I'll take it after a three putt on the first. Thanks. <clears throat> Go ahead, guys. So this shot is featuring my dad. I forgot to record my own swing. Uh, my shot will be in red. His will be in blue. I have a scramble coming up with him, so stay tuned. That's better rotation, Dad. Maybe just a little open face, but better rotation back. The 246 number is for me. Okay, I hit a really good drive, but I got all this crap to deal with. All right, 68 yards. I'm just gonna chip it up there. That's gotta sit. I'm starting thinking driver's not the play. Sit. I hit a great drive, but I was blocked out. Don't go on, the oh, there's a trap back there. Oh, okay, they're not that bad, but. So now we're hitting shot three out of the sand trap. Just so-so. Oh. And we're actually able to hit a pretty decent chip here out of the rough. And we have a makeable putt here. Okay, I, gotta, I really got to bear down and make that. Here's the tempt for bogey. Oh, that's why it's round. And we're able to clean that up. Save strokes that way. The tallest tree back there is my aim. Maybe a little right to that, a little right to left action. Oh. This one ends up missing right, which is not where you want to be on this hole. One-handed finish, I'll take it. Okay, here we go. And you're about to find out why. If you're on the left side of the fairway, you don't have to deal with this trap. Really scared of going into the trap and I hit it well over. Gosh darn it, another waste to drive. And unfortunately for this chip, I end up duffing it right onto the collar. That's not it. And we barely get on. That's not it. Oh. And on top of all that, this is not one of my better putts and this one sails past. And for me on this channel, you know how it goes. I try to be very honest. Mm. I try to put most things out, if not within gimme distance. Oh, gosh darn it. And this one shows why short game is so important. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 double. All right, I'm just gonna aim at the skinniest tree out there. This divot aligns perfectly. This one ends up snapping. Oh, hey, watch it. You see it? Yeah. Up the left side. We got a fortune to break and we're just sitting out of the rough. Perfect. Oh, I could not have drawn that up any better. And lately, this distance has been killer for me. Sit. Sit! I need to work on my wedges for sure. It's kind of elevated, so it might scoop under like the one, one of the last holes. So, of course, again, we're taking out the trusty bump and run club, which is a pitching wedge. Sit! Oh, that didn't break too... Oh. It rolls out quite a bit here, but fortunately, the Jailbird Versa is here to save the day. Okay, I'm gonna aim between those two big trees, huh? This drive I end up hitting pretty good, but it gets eaten alive by the rough patches on the left. I pulled it, but luckily I aimed I aimed for it. Oh, it kind of died. I'm happy to get a I'll happy happy to get a club on this. And luckily, we're able to muscle this one out. Pretty good, nice shot. <laughs> that was that was brutal. <laughs> so it's like 180 into the wind, but downhill. I'm gonna play the number. And still to this day. Oh. These hybrids are my favorite. Fade. I think I'm just up in front. Yeah, mine's coming this way. Yeah, we're going left. Ours are going left. But it's not downhill, is it? This one I got a little bit greedy with the pace. Stay up. Stay up! Rolls out a pretty decent amount, but we're able to make the comeback for a two putt par. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> this particular tee box, pretty difficult if you hit a draw. I would suggest even laying up as this hole's not very long. Take that. That'll play. 
68, can I hit a green from 68? So I was verbally emphasizing this distance because I'm struggling with the wedges. Oh my God, please get a kick. But I get lucky here. Oh, I got the luckiest kick ever. Get in the hole. <laughs> I, I didn't hit the green, I hit the sand trap and it kicked onto the green, but I'll take it. But the golf gods decided to be cruel today. Oh no! And that is just straight pain. So the front nine here, pretty much your typical muni, yep, but do. these last two holes are killer. That's probably like the clenching. <laughs> None of these pros play this club actually. They just do it for marketing. It's like, here Rory, take a picture with this club. Oh my gosh, she's playing it. So I got the mini driver, pretty much hit it off the deck. And this one ends up going left to target. Well, short left after all that waiting, but I need a word with the superintendent. Who put a sand trap here? I miss with the mini driver so bad. I don't think anyone ever goes in the sand trap. I'm out. But at least I get out in one. But why is there a sand trap here? <laughs> Just kidding. It's going this way. Right side's higher than the left side. And now we have a long one here for the par. Ends up being a hair short. That's pretty, that's pretty straight. I mean, I'll... But we'll take it. I'll take that, man. So after a long par four, long par three. Oh, is that four? No. You got the first hole on the left, OB right. Caught the tree. And parking lot long. Just, it's hard to feel comfortable over this shot. Middle of the green's fine. Just keep it low and it's not that far. The more aggressive I am, the more chance I have giving up the green entirely. So. My mini driver hit the tree just above me. So I had to punch out with the five iron and this one ends up being pretty dang good. That was pretty schmexy. All right, a little right to left ski on the side hill. It's pretty flat. And I thought this was gonna break more than it did. Dead straight. It ends up being dead straight. What? Now we're on to the magical back nine. Wind is a little like into our face, so right to left, I think, huh? And I don't know what it is about this hole. It should be straightforward, but I end up chunking this one. <laughs> <laughs> and with the wedge game in disarray, honestly, sit. I'm just happy that I'm on the green and I'm putting. Gotta work for our par. So here comes the lengthy attempt for par. This one just skirts right by. We line it up once more, and my face says it all on this one. Oh. All right, a little bit of rage in this one, so. And with a crank in hand, this ends up being one of my better drives on this hole in recent memory. A little foreshadow. Roll. I have a wedge in hand. Get myself in position. And like I've been saying earlier, I definitely need to practice this distance because I failed to get onto the green on this one as well. I can't hit the green from 44 yards, are you kidding me? <laughs> Which was this going to the right, huh? On top of all that, I hit this bump and run way too aggressively, and I have a long one now for my par. Yikes. So it's like downhill, then this way? Right to left, then left to right? So just play it straight. So here's the attempt for par, and this one never stood a chance. Come on. Bogey from 44 yards. Love it. So full disclosure. Oh. If you miss it right onto the other fairway, it's technically OB. Technically you're not supposed to go there, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> but I get punished anyway. This one sails into the dune mound and the ball gets lost. I think it's over that tree. All right, I'm just gonna pretend that I hit a ball. Forgot to record. And then uh, put the tracer on, but I'm, I'm on the middle of the green. So I made this just to show the visual. Boom, you'll get the visual, blah, blah, blah. Forgot to hit record. So now that that whole mess is out of the way, I have a long one for bogey because I took two strokes from losing a ball using the E5 USGA alternative rule to stroke and distance. And we tap that one in for a double bogey. Just get me out of this hole. This one ends up flying right. Oh, stay. But we're still okay. No, that should be fine actually. That's, that's fine. Good angle to the green, eh? And looking back at this, full swings to the greens, I'm okay. Safely aboard. It's honestly the wedges that are killing me. So here is my attempt at birdie, and I'm a little aggressive here. <laughs> but taking some time to line this one up, we're able to clean this one up for a par. Darn it. Ooh, the wind is at my back. So the draw will hold. This drive with the crank ends up being perfect. Yep, yeah, that was pretty dang good. But of course we spoil it. Oh shoot, wind please. <laughs> by pulling this one dead left. It's going right to left, huh? Fortunately, this green is massive, and we caught a piece. And here's my putt for the birdie. Sit. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, that's still kind of far. And we have a lengthy one here for the par. 
And not quite. And the hands on the knees once again. No, it, I, I, I like didn't trust it. This hole is probably the hardest on the back from the sheer distance. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's middle of the face. 166. Wind is behind though, huh? All right, new swing in play. Wind's still swirling to behind. Unfortunately, you pull it left again. Oh, I cooked it right to left. And it gets a pretty hard bounce off the green hill left. Oh no, sit. And once again, lost with the wedges in the hands. Golf is fun. We're having fun. And nothing like overcompensating Oh my goodness gracious. By blading it over the green. You know? So at this point, I know this is for bogey, but I'm thinking two putt the whole way. Straight. Unfortunately, we're able to clean this one up for double and get out of dodge. Wow, double. We go for the big, the right edge of the biggest, that solo tree down there. If I pop it up a million miles, the wind will hold it up. Nearing the end of the round now, what are your thoughts on this course? I don't think the speed slot was achieved. I'm gonna play this up against the wind and basically hit it in the hole. The back nine is awesome, the front nine is so-so. Oh, I hit that so freaking good. Please sit, 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 sit. Oh no, go. Bump and red ski. But regardless of my opinion, it's moments like these. In it's in the hole. It's in the hole. That keep me coming back to this course. Bump and run, Bill. Shee! That's, that's another way to get a birdie. Whether it's a scramble with my brother or my dad, this will always be a top course for me, even though it's pricier now. I felt pretty solid. New swing alert, this one is blasted. Oh, no! Oh, wow, I crushed it. I, on Like, barely on the fringe, and I think I'll be happy. And after all these bad wedges from today, this one ends up being pretty decent. I lucked into that one. And given the severity of the green breaking here, oh, wow. yeah, we did what we can to make the par, but ultimately preserve the bogey. And we're on to the 18th hole. Usually I never take out driver, but with the crank in hand, holy smokes, that's the- We hit a good one. The best drive that I hit, so naturally the second shot, <laughs> it's gonna be trouble. It's a full 56, 80 yards. And after being short with all my wedges today, I put the booty cheeks into this one, and unfortunately, this one ends up being a little long. Backside, I think. And I play this one a little bit too cute. And now we have a tough one for our par here. <laughs> Gosh darn it. So as the round is wrapping out here, this is Pacific Grove Golf Links, one of my favorite courses. My suggestion is at least get off on the back nine in the morning. You can pick an early tee time just to play nine holes. But if I'm being honest, if you've already played it, you don't have to frequent it. The price of tee times in golf have pretty much gone up everywhere. And Pacific Grove Golf Links is no exception. But I hope you guys enjoy that one. Keep chasing. We'll see you in the next one.